Okay, so if we're gonna play Pokemon Let's Go Eevee in multiplayer, I always start the game with handheld. First player handheld, no players assigned at all. Just handheld, the first player. Gonna launch Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. See, right now it's reading handheld, which is this first controller. first player now on my second player so what we're gonna do is go to emulation configure controls I'm gonna be left joy-con and see now I'm left joy-con my second controller here the blue one is going to be I tap connect controller it's already plugged into my computer of course we're gonna choose right Joy-Con because I already chose left. So second player, right Joy-Con, and my second Xbox 360 controller. And now it is there. Can confirm that it is reading it. When it says right Joy-Con, and you're using a controller like these ones, it means that right Joy-Con has. This. this is this is what I'm using. That's how how it looks here. Buttons and the stick down. If it's the left Joy-Con that you have set up there, look at the left, how it looks, and then we go here. It means nothing. I'll use this part. This part, not this. This part is for the second player, first player. Now that we have that set up. I know that for the second player to join, they need to shake the controller, but my controllers don't have motion controls. But what I do is I go here, where it says motion one set. Where? Use the configuration controllers and you see this. Motion one. It's the only motion I can set up with a button. So I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna set, set it to my A in the Xbox controller. I do have to click it at the same time I'm pressing the button, so I gotta put down the camera. There we go. Pressed it at the same time I clicked it, and now it says button zero. So now the button A on my red controller is shake. But I'm also gonna do that with the second player. Here it is motion two, means player two. Player 2, Motion 2. I'm gonna use the green button. Put the camera down so I can click on it and set the button. And there we go. I have a set on button 0, which is the A on the Xbox controller. And now I'm gonna tap Apply. Remember to click Apply. If you don't click Apply, it's not gonna read these same changes. Apply and okay. Now I want the second the second player to join me. So what I'm gonna do on the second controller, press that and here we have our here we have our second player. I can also press the button again. You can see here. He wants to sell us something. Right in the middle of the video. Now we. Okay. I can unsummon second player with the same button that I summoned them. It could take two tries to 
click on it to keep tapping until it he second character appears. Which will be the girl in my case. And here we are. Now I can move her. And she will also have a second a character following her. That is why in my party, let's see how I can summon the party here. There we go. As you can see, they have Vaporeon because I have Jolteon, so the, the Pokemon following next to the one I chose as the following with the star is gonna be the one for your second player. So if I choose Pikachu, your second player will be Shadow. We're gonna be Shadow, which is Gengar. I named it Shadow, and so on. See, we're both playing and that's how you do multiplayer on this the cash button like when you if you get to a pokemon battle and it's to catch the pokemon not a battle as in like against npcs as long as it's npcs this works very well we can both attack we can do anything but when it's catching pokemon it says shake your motion controls and it wants us to do something like this like that apparently the shake buttons are not doing that type of shake so it's not sending the pokeball so what i do is run or i use a master ball and sometimes it works and it ignores that both of them have to throw the pokeball and just the first player can choose the master ball and it works but if you don't have master balls then you're gonna have to run and you're gonna have to catch them and play when you're one player not two players but for everything else battling and the second player following you that works very well in using if you have any other problems with this or another game just leave it in the comments and i'll try to get back to you